Hey, thanks for checking out the video. This one's gonna be all about heat. We're gonna be seeing how hot these Olights get when they are hot rotted. And um, hot rotting a flashlight, that's kind of like a term that just describes dropping a spicier battery into the light than what it's designed to run on typically. So for example, these lights here, um, these run on AAA batteries, typically with a voltage of 1.5 or less. And then the i5Rs included batteries, 2.4 voltage. The i5T over here in blue <clears throat> runs on a AA typically with voltage of 1.5 once again. But today uh, we're dropping in 14500s in the i5R and the i5T. They've got a voltage of 3.7 as do these 10440 lithium rechargeable cells here. These are gonna be going in the i3E and the i3T. Uh, by the way, <laughs> a lot of you were hoping for a video featuring the i3T up against this uh, Mataminko CSF03. And actually that's the video I wanted to make as well, but unfortunately this little uh, light <clears throat> tail switch stopped working. No more clicks. So yeah, that, that video still will be coming. I got a refund and I did order a replacement, so I still intend to do that, but <clears throat> yeah, big bummer. This uh, this one started stopped uh, working, so anyway, with that aside, <clears throat> yeah, so the idea of this video, I'm just going to do this all in real time because these lights actually don't take too long to heat up. With that said, uh, this might be one of my longer videos, so if you're pressed for time, you can go into your settings and adjust the playback speed to maybe like 1.25 or 1.5 times speed. Uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, we'll just be turning these all on at the same time. I'm gonna set the clock over here on the left to <clears throat> uh, 12 o'clock right before we turn all these on, just so we can kind of trace the minutes that go by and get a vague idea of how quickly these heat up. And uh, yeah, I'm interested to see which one will actually get the hottest, which uh, temperature uh, gets the hottest among these lights. I have a prediction as to which one will get the least hot, and that's this one right here, the i5R. <clears throat> For whatever reason, it stays pretty cool and the output doesn't get boosted like the other lights. So yeah, without further ado, I'm just gonna start it off that way <clears throat> I can ramble as this test is underway. I3E, I3T, and I'm just gonna be putting these on their highest setting. A lot of you know the I5R and I5T become like a one mode light when you put a 14500 in them. Here we go. <clears throat> and then, uh, I just wanted to point out as well, I'm not the first to do this sort of thing. Uh, Smothered Chrome is another YouTube channel that does this and uh, <clears throat> did it first, did it better. <laughs> so if you're interested, check out those videos. I just wanted to make this one with all these lights at the same time. That way it could be kind of like a resource for people if they wanted to uh, <clears throat> consider doing this or stay away from it. This will give you an idea of the types of temperatures these lights reach. <clears throat> and yeah, before I test the lights temperatures, I just wanted to point out that Room temperature is about 57, 58 degrees or so. So yeah, with that, let's take our first rounds of temperatures. I'm gonna blow my coffee here. And I'm gonna be charting them a little bit as we go on this piece of paper. And what I'm gonna do is just try to, uh, rec try to record the hottest temperature I'm able to for each light see where they kind of top off temperature wise. So yeah, first round attempts coming in here. Looks like the i3E's hitting 85, 87. So we got that down. And while I'm doing this, I just wanted to say a quick note about heat in general. Um, I saw 87 on this i3T as well. 88, 90, okay. Yeah, we're climbing already. Uh, I looked into like what temperatures are considered safe and unsafe <clears throat> to handle. And I mean, I checked like uh, plumbers and electrician uh, standards 
104 over here. I checked uh, NASA, OSHA, and <clears throat> there's different answers all over the place. Okay, I think I saw 106 right here. So yeah, I'm not I'm not really interested in you know <clears throat> putting a number on what's safe or not because uh, heat. The consensus is that what it really comes down to is like how long your skin has contact with the surface. So in other words, if you if your skin has, okay, I'm gonna say 58. If your skin has contact for a longer duration of time, the likelihood you'll be permanently burned, the proteins in your skin will will break apart, becomes higher. Whereas if you just briefly tap a surface, you're less likely to get uh, burns and permanently hurt. So yeah, uh, this video is just gonna be kind of documenting temps and I want to say, as I always do, that you know, Olight doesn't recommend using these batteries in their lights, and I don't either per se. Um, so I just trust everyone uses their own wisdom and own, their own judgment, because <clears throat> I don't want to say you know do it or don't, because I don't know what's best for everybody. Okay, 103. I think I saw on the I3T here. And yeah, the, the funny thing about making these videos and reading the comments is uh, <clears throat> some people are uh, really shocked that anyone would do this in the first place. And they're like, you're gonna bring your house down. You're crazy. Why are you doing this? <laughs> and then other people are like, oh, what are you talking about? It's not hot, I've never had an issue. So yeah, the comments are kind of widely ranged. Oh, sorry, my thermometer's off the screen over here. The i5R is remaining cool. And I actually tested this in another video and it hardly exceeds room temperature at all. So I'm actually gonna move it off screen, but yeah, I mean, this is really cool to touch. The lens too, no no problem. Like I mentioned before, the output doesn't even get boosted, so there must be some kind of inhibition <clears throat> built in or something limited limiting the output and therefore the heat with this light. So yeah, we'll, we will, we'll check on it later on, but I'm just gonna leave it way out here for now. <clears throat> Let's head back to the i3e. The temperature we're trying to beat over here is 104. Oh, there it was, 109. 111, okay. Climbing. And uh, I will be putting the top temperature <clears throat> and converting it into Celsius. I know we've got um, some people watching in different countries too, so wanted to help everybody out if I could. 113, 114 over here in the i3t. 114, very cool. Is still staying manageable so far. Ooh, 145. 145, dang. Now it's climbing up. One nineteen. One twenty. One twenty one. Saw one twenty two, I think. So that definitely beat 111. Temperatures are still climbing. I3T, we were looking at trying to beat 114. I think I saw 119 there. Yeah, 119. All right. And I'm also just taking the temperature of the outside body of the light, not the lenses. Um, I try to take the lenses temperature, 153 over here, wow. I try to take the lenses temperatures, but the <clears throat> thermometer gets readings on the LED in different parts and really starts to freak out. So 154, yeah. Um, I don't, I decided not to do that because it's just too unreliable. But that's not to say that they're not hot. Okay, I'm trying to beat 122. I got 124, 125, 125, okay. This is actually not my first time doing this test. <laughs> I actually lost the footage of the first time I did this. It was a big pain, but uh, oh well. I actually did that one inside where the room temperature was about 71. So the temperatures were, temperatures were slightly higher even because it's pretty cool out here in my garage. Trying to beat 119 and we did, I guess I 123. 
And I apologize if I blink and miss <clears throat> a temperature, but let's see, I, 156, dang, 160. Yeah, that's, uh, it's getting hot. 160 on the i5T. Trying to beat 125 for this i3e 127 just saw that okay 127 i3e 123 we're trying to beat 123 124 okay 125 125 just beat it Okay, 5T. This thing is smoking. One, we're trying to be 160. One fifty-six. Wonder if this has peaked. Yeah, one fifty-six. So I wonder if we've reached the point in time where the voltage on these batteries has dropped enough that they're no longer going to increase in temperature. 127, okay, that's what we got as a high temp last time with the i3e. I saw that again just now. 127. Yep, 127. So that may have peaked as well. We'll have to see. I'll do another pass until uh, temperatures start to come down. 125, that's actually, ooh, 126. So we beat our record of high temp, 126. Okay, 126. Take it with a grain of salt, but I uh, read online that 120 is considered scalding as far as like plumbing, like liquid temps go. But once again, I'm not trying to make any statements about <clears throat> You know, should anyone do this? Um, I'll just say personally, the one kind of hot rod mod I run pretty consistently is the i3T with the 10440. Um, these other ones I do for fun sometimes, but not regularly. Okay, 140. So this one is coming down in temp. We didn't get up to that 156. Um, the high on the i5T is a 160. Didn't hit that again. All right, 126. 127 is the all-time high temp on the i3e. Oh, there's 128. Wow. All right, 128. 128, yeah. i3e, i3t, I'm sorry, i3t. 126. 127, that's a new record. So yeah, the test is not over. We're still climbing slowly. The i5T uh, may have peaked though. Cause yeah, we're coming down from that 160, it looks like. Not seeing anything like that anymore. 130 or so. Okay. So yeah, we'll move this guy off to the side a little bit. Let's see if these, these are still going. These two are climbing or not. Um, what else was I gonna say? Um, oh yeah, another thing to consider. I know a lot of people uh, have said that, you know, they don't use their lights like this on the highest setting for, you know, an indefinite amount of time. That's not typical. And I, uh, you know, right on, uh, duly noted. It's just, I wanted to see kind of what the extremes are with this test. 125, yeah, we're not coming past 128 with the i3e. Can we beat 127 on this i3t? 127, nope. So, can we beat 128? I'll give it another chance to do so here. And I'm hovering at a certain distance away from these because this thermometer said the optimal distance 
is not up, you know, right up too close or too far away. <clears throat> um, yeah, staying up there in the high 120s, but not beating 128. So yeah, I think I'm gonna call it on that note. <clears throat> so long story short, um, I guess uh, what I'll do is I'll get these all turned off and then we'll unpack the results in just a second here. All right, if you've made it this far, thanks so much for sticking it out. I uh, really appreciate you watching. And let's go over the top temps we recorded on this test. Um, my chart, I actually uh, wrote in the wrong order where I had placed the lights, so I just swapped these. Um, let's start with the i5R. So this light remained super cool the entire test, and I forgot to take the temp at the very end. It was 60 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 degrees Celsius. Um, so yeah, I mean, once again, uh, I don't see a point in running a 14500 in the i5R, not because there's a heat issue, just because you don't get a boost in output. So you might as well use the included battery because <clears throat> it's USB-C rechargeable and um, you got great run times on that light. <clears throat> the i5T was the winner or loser, depending on how you look at it, as far as heat goes. It got the hottest for sure. Um, 160 degrees Celsius, I'm sorry, 160 degrees Fahrenheit. 71 degrees Celsius. So yeah, this little thing was, you know, real hot. Wouldn't want that in your pocket um, unless you wanted like a brand to give yourself a little brand with this knurling. I'm just kidding. But yeah, th this one got the hottest for sure. Um, and then next to that, the i3E and the i3T were kind of the same. So uh, this is the i3E in the leftmost column, i3T. <clears throat> so yeah. I3E reached 128 degrees Fahrenheit <clears throat> or 53 degrees Celsius. And then the I3T reached 127 Fahrenheit or 52 Celsius. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the results I got. The temperatures I recorded inside were hotter because the room temperature the first time I did this uh, was about 71 degrees, if I remember. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm, I apologize, I lost that footage. The i5T actually hit 180 um, in that test. I was pretty shocked. So um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry I don't have that footage like, like I said, but just something to note with this thing, with this test I just did, um, room temperature does seem to be a factor because all of the temperatures were higher. Um, I believe the i3E and i3T were in the 140s, the low 140s if I remember correctly. The i5R remained at room temperature. <clears throat> so yeah, I hope those numbers help too. But yeah, that's the gist of it. Um, another thing to note real quick, this is a different material than the other lights, it's in copper. So on paper, it actually should have gotten hotter because copper is a better conductor of heat, but something internal prevents that from happening. Um, yeah, uh, with all that said, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching once again. Um, I do have a couple lights on order, um, some new models to test out and review, including uh, the backup for this poor a uh, CSF03 that uh, went kaput on us. Um, I still intend to test that light more, but yeah, it did break. And so I wanted to point that out and full disclosure. Yeah, I've got another semester starting up for class, but even so I still plan on doing some videos. <clears throat> they might not be like every other day, every few days, but I'm gonna try to do at least one a week uh, and keep that up unless it's not manageable for me. But yeah, I just wanted to give you a heads up in that regard. Um, if you want to support the channel, please consider giving a like on the video, maybe dropping a comment um, or uh, subscribing. Otherwise, if you want to pick up an Olight, I've got an affiliate links in the description too. But with all that said, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. See you in the next video. Take care.